For many couples, infertility can be emotionally devastating. Absolutely, but some local experts are now making not only new babies a reality for families, they're also using the latest technology to find genes linked to serious diseases. Tisha Powell joins us again with that story. Tisha? Caitlin and Fred, couples often turn to Carolina Conceptions in Raleigh for help after trying for some time to have a child on their own. And now, in addition to conceiving successfully, new testing can determine so much more about your future child, like what diseases they may develop as an adult. Cindy can't imagine life without her son Brock. She and her husband tried for 11 years to have a child, losing several babies along the way, including twin sons born at 23 weeks gestational age. Having seen them and holding them, um, I almost became, I was completely devastated by that. Cindy has a chromosomal abnormality that resulted in several miscarriages. In most cases, an embryo with the wrong number of chromosomes does not survive. So Cindy came to Carolina Conceptions in Raleigh for pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, or PGD, a technique in which embryo biopsy is used to test embryos created through in vitro fertilization. Cindy had three cycles of IVF. I think we went through, collectively of those three, 56 embryos to to get him. New technology is allowing doctors to biopsy embryos at a later stage of development after five days in the laboratory. We can biopsy those embryos, get a very accurate diagnosis of any problems that might be going on with those embryos, and then be able to transfer the embryos the next day. Dr. Bill Meyer says they can now test embryos for not only genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis and sickle cell, but also for genes linked to cancer. The BRCA or the BRCA gene that's a suppressor gene, and if women have an abnormality of that gene, they themselves may have been diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, and usually they get testing when they have family members who are affected by the disease. Well, now we can actually biopsy those embryos so that we can basically rule out that they would have that problem. I would love nothing more than to have a house full of children. For parents like Cindy, genetic testing gave her the child she so desperately wanted. Every day is a big celebration. He is an absolute miracle. A happy and healthy baby boy. And Cindy says she wants to start thinking about having another child when Brock, who's now 10 months old, turns a year old. Considering her genetic disorder, she may have to go through a similar process.